Hey guys, welcome to part three on the blueprint to your financial freedom, focusing on life stage number three up next. Hey guys, welcome back to Money Talks with me, Nabil Khan, where we start a real conversation about money for you to build the right mindsets, habits, and education in your journey to financial freedom. So if you're just joining me in the series because life stage number three is most relevant to you, I'm glad to have you watch this. So let's recap. People have a common path in life when it comes to money. Those are called financial life stages. And understanding those allows you to take action in your financial plan today so you can plan for things way before you need them to happen. So let's look at financial life stage number three, the last financial life stage. Retirement age 65 onwards. These are the years that you've worked hard over a career to buy and should be the most enjoyable years of your life and is true financial freedom. But this is also a time when you still need to have a plan because there are always financial needs to be addressed. Common goals in this life stage are living life through savings, assets and incomes from those assets that you have accumulated over your career self-actualization through giving back and participating in communities, living for a purpose with all the time you now have, having an income generating hobby or just a normal hobby, maintaining your health and managing insurances, maintaining an estate plan to minimize taxes and manage the transference of your wealth. So personally, I'm not sure what this life stage feels like for people already there. Well, obviously, but what I can tell you is that I have seen a lot of scenarios of how this can play out. And I trust my expertise and knowledge on this topic well enough to tell you that it is hugely important for you to review your assets and investments regularly and understand the position of your investments as you go through your golden years, because quite simply, things can change, markets move, things that were once relevant can quickly become irrelevant. And it's all about risk, and how long your plan can take you through for. Now, time in each financial life stage obviously varies from person to person. However, achieving your financial goals fundamentally is based on common principles of planning, investing, and understanding and building the right habits to take you through life. And on that note, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this series on financial life stages and it helped you to understand what to expect so that you can have the end in mind and plan effectively throughout your life. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and share this video because we're trying to build a community to raise awareness on financial literacy and the person that you share it to will get benefit from this and hopefully share it to somebody else. And on that note, don't forget to click the bell notification so you never miss a video and I'll catch you in the next one.